picking that up. <laughs> Shot. Our traverse across the Kofu wilderness continues as we make our way to the third and final camp of this adventure. Hey y'all, there's a cabin up here. Would you look at that? <laughs> Earlier in the day, we'd stopped the Wilbanks cabin another historical landmark open to the public and any brave souls who want to stay under its roof for the night. Originally built in 1931 by the Wilbanks family, these folks had arrived to a desert lush with grasses and wildflowers, which enticed them to settle down and start a cattle ranch on what seemed to be the perfect section of land in southwest Arizona. Their dream soon turned into a nightmare when the land was scorched by a drought and followed soon after by the Great Depression. As if things couldn't get any worse, the cabin burnt down in 1934, but it didn't stop these persistent folk. They rebuilt and over time made the small operations profitable as the rains returned and beef prices increased with World War II. Even with the beauty we see here today, it would seem almost impossible to sustain cattle herds in this harsh landscape, but they made it happen. If you're ever passing through, be sure and step back in time and imagine what it would have been like to be living and surviving here in the 120 degree summers. As we travel further into the refuge, our trails got narrower and narrower. If you're OCD about your paint job, this might not be the trail for you. We've long since given up on shiny wax vehicles and instead consider each long line of desert pinstriping on the sides of silver as small mementos of our travels. So trailer life? It's pretty great. Pretty great? Oh yeah. Sometimes it's like a boat anchor, but uh, that's only through rock obstacles. Uh huh. For the rest of the time it's don't even hardly know it's behind you. Yeah. Keep all your gear in there, keeps this thing a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. oh, when you're getting gnarly in the washes, it keeps the back end from getting away from you. That's true too. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you want a boat anchor. <laughs> yeah. It is pretty amazing how nothing shifted. Yeah. Like Yeah, and this thing is funny. It, nothing's bouncing around. I mean, in the old trailers with the torsion axles, everyone had nets for all their gear. This, nothing has moved in there today. I was impressed at how stable it was. Yeah. I love this design. It's, it's really nice. Yeah. If this had been on the market when we were looking at buying one, I would end up with one of these. What's for dinner? Ooh, that's chicken? a, that's a, yeah, ch chicken maybe. Chicken, okay. <laughs> chicken, maybe. chicken maybe. We didn't yeah, really. That's my favorite, plan. chicken maybe. <laughs> we didn't really plan out dinner all that well, so yeah. we'll see what we end up with. Okay, okay. It'll be okay. So how are you liking uh, the rooftop tent now that you've had a few iterations? With I the... like it. I like it. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, I love, I mean, I just timed myself. It took me six minutes and 30 seconds to completely set up camp. Oh that man. includes deploying the awning, pulling out the kitchen, and putting my stuff up in the tent. Like, I'm ready to rock. <laughs> so... <laughs> and you were at, what, an hour for the other setup? Uh, the setup was about 25 minutes or so. About okay. an hour to take down. Okay, so, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. So, but still, that's a huge improvement. Absolutely.
Well, good morning, guys. This place is just as pretty in the morning as it is in the evening. Unbelievable. We were talking about this yesterday, about the diversity and all of the different cacti and stuff out here. And it's like you're driving through some kind of botanical garden that's just dedicated to the desert because there are just so many beautiful plants and rock formations and it's just amazing and we've not seen another vehicle in 24 hours it's pretty doggone awesome so time to get a bit of breakfast going some coffee and I'm doing a bit of experimenting with a product and it's a product I probably won't recommend just because it's built so cheaply but it's pretty cool for the price. So, how does some cinnamon rolls sound this morning? We'll give it a try. So this is the camp oven by Coleman. And the concept's pretty simple, right? Just retain heat in a box for cookies or cinnamon rolls. Or biscuits we had biscuits yesterday and they turned out all right so we're gonna play with it a bit get some ideas get some ideas stay tuned hey Sophie Hey Charlie! Hey buddy! Hey buddy! Hi Penny! Hi Penny! Bye Penny! What do you got for breakfast this morning? So far it's just coffee. Alright. And dog food. <laughs> <laughs> when you're desperate. <laughs> they make good dog food nowadays too. They do. You gotta make it happen when you need to. Food grade. <laughs> do you remember the name of this pour over? Um, it's like a Fario. Yeah, Fario. Okay. J R I O. And that one's the plastic one. You can get them in plastic, glass, or ceramic. Oh, gotcha. Plastic obviously works best for camp. So apparently, the secret are these are these lines. Yep. Yeah. Those are the flavor funnels. <laughs> We're going with a high octane cartel coffee today. And that's just the French press basis. Yeah, used. it's an old GSI yeah. uh, French press that I just use as the vessel yeah. for the pour over. That's what we start doing with that insulated carafe uh -huh. French press we bought. It's good dual purpose. Yeah, that's perfect for it, especially since it's insulated. You can leave it in there and make multiple cups. All right. And now it's back to our camp to start the cinnamon rolls. Whew, they're warm. That's weird. <laughs> Did not expect them to come out like that. Thanks, Pillsbury. Dude, those things so freaking good. Do they have like syrup in them or something? They have to, yeah. There's some maple syrup. Yeah. Maybe, they're sweet. Morning. Good morning. Oh, you smell the cinnamon rolls on my fingers. Mmm. Oh. Mm. Everybody loves that. That's right. Did y'all yes. sleep good? Wonderful sleep last night. You hear those coyotes going crazy? I didn't. Keith mentioned something about them. Yeah. yeah it was all of 30 seconds. Yeah. yeah. They There's got their prey. <laughs> There's a couple howls. It was done. 
Oh, the whole group of them lit up and yip, 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 and then silent. That was it, huh? It was real fast. People are gonna say you're screwing those up. <laughs> I got my eggs. I do how I want them. Oh, we got in trouble for doing that one time. Really? Oh yeah, they, you just ruined that egg. Wow. Okay, it tasted pretty good. Yeah. To me. All right, let's see how we're doing here. Oh yeah, looking pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. Oh my Here's the true test. That's proper. suckers without long-range tanks <laughs> <laughs> for now <laughs> I feel I feel so bad for you <laughs> hey, they got my deposit <laughs> that's right it's coming it's coming <laughs> so in answer to a lot of questions that I've been getting about the long range tank. It's still performing flawlessly. The range is just stupid good. And it's actually got a lot of clearance. I'm, I'm impressed. They did a really good job of tucking it into that departure angle. It's the best mod ever. It's the only mod that gets lighter as you drive. It's the only mod that makes you go further. So, <laughs> I don't know. It seems like a, like a no brainer at this point. Like, I don't know how I did it without it but uh, it's not cheap. It's not for everyone, but for us, it's an awesome fit. It's doing an awesome job. Still hard at it, huh? <laughs> yep, number two. <laughs> <laughs> Get my eight gallons, hard earned. <laughs> Just a few miles outside of camp, the convoy came to a halt again due to a washout in the trail. While the obstacle wasn't completely impassable, the angle was extreme at its worst point, and many people had begun a detour through the desert to avoid this bad section of trail. So, rather than follow suit, we rolled up our sleeves and got to work, repairing the washout to hopefully encourage other travelers to stay on the official trail system. Remember, with all of us working together, we can keep trails like this open and our campgrounds clean. So remember to always leave it better than you found it.
So a lot of these, they just look worse than they actually are, as I'm sure you're all sitting there saying right now, but it's better to play it safe, especially with varying degrees of experience and comfort levels and vehicles and all that kind of stuff. Take your time. Get in a hurry, gets you hurt. Like that. And breaks things. Ready, ready.
So Ken, what would you think about the trip? I thought it was amazing, man. Yeah? Keith did an amazing job setting that up. Can't wait until next week that I'll do it again. That's right. All right, Leah, how was the trip? What did you think about Kofa? I loved it. It's been on my bucket list for a really long time, and uh, it was a great group of people we had out, and the vistas were amazing. So it was everything I was hoping for. Awesome. Yep. All right, Austin, what did you think? What's the synopsis of the trip? Just incredible. Like, absolutely pops. I mean, it's, as we were saying when we were driving, just the amount of uh, effort and everything that gets put into that by the Game and Fish, so much better i mean they have everything marked for no cars here plus you just don't get a lot of people out here and this is in arizona and no one even hardly knows it's there it's just it's so beautiful and so untapped just so beautiful best kept secret oh. or it was we don't tell people about it <laughs> we're on mars everybody <laughs> all right keith the the yes, master sir. plan hey hey this is your second trip out here third is third a actually fact. yes wow. yeah it was fantastic so great group of folks out here and some awesome friends good times around the campfire and beautiful scenery great terrain it was a fantastic trip and you, you get to do it again right i do i get to do it again next weekend as a matter of fact <laughs> <laughs> well have fun with that we're jealous yeah uh, we'll do. <laughs> all right guys that's okay, it here we go. we're aired up we're ready to go back to phoenix <laughs> myself back to new mexico but wow arizona <laughs> Yet again, absolutely incredible. Did not expect Kofa to be so beautiful. Did not expect to see all the stuff that we got to see. It is, maybe was, the best kept secret. If you ever make it out to Arizona, put Kofa on your list. All right, let's roll. All right, so quick fuel stop for some of us so we can make it back to Phoenix. These guys, not, not this guy, it's still full. Just put the last of the auxiliary tank into the main tank. It's so good for another 280 miles at least. So just the little benefits. Just waiting on these guys now. This is part of the episode where Keith pees in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Every time! <laughs> One of us should have wore a thong though so we can get that iconic picture, right? You ready? We can get the shot I hope you've enjoyed riding along with me on this little adventure and look forward to having you again on the next one. Until then, safe travels.